Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slash Game Android Community, and we're looking today at Samsung's new Galaxy Note, and that's fresh here at IFA 2011. And this is the Galaxy Note compared to the Samsung's Galaxy S2. Now, this does have a 4.3-inch screen. It's a big phone, uh, but the Galaxy Note has a 5.3-inch screen. Um, and as you can see, they're both, they both use Super AMOLED technology, so the viewing angles on these are brilliant. Now, the Samsung is still one of the thinnest smartphones around, but as you can see, the Note isn't that much thicker. It still comes in at under a centimeter. Um, and both have uh, an 8 megapixel camera on the back with an LED flash, both can shoot full HD video. Both are a front facing camera and both are running Android uh, 2.3 Gingerbread with Samsung's custom TouchWiz interface on top. Now of course the difference between the two is the stylus. Now the Galaxy Note will work with this stylus so you can use it to uh, take um, take notes, whereas obviously it doesn't work on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So inside there's a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor, um, and that's keeping the Android 2.3 gingerbread uh, with Samsung's TouchWiz interface moving pretty swiftly. Um, obviously you can use your finger, um, it comes with various apps, we loaded the latest version of the video editing app and the image editing app, and you can annotate that. But the big difference is also you can use this stylus pen, it's what that Samsung are calling the S Pen. So you can swipe across just as you would with your finger, but you can also hold down this touch button on the side, double tap and start writing a note. So, And obviously you can change the pen size, pen colour, different types of pen. And it's pressure sensitive, so the harder you press, the thicker the line is. Capture a screenshot. And then from this file you can annotate it, so you can draw stuff on it, or you can crop it. And it's not just in a, a regular square crop, you can actually do unusual shapes. Do a sample where you take pictures and you can yeah. import it. And you can see that, and then you can share that. So one thing you can do uh, is use the camera to take a photo. So if I just grab a shot. And I can go into that photo in the regular Android gallery, choose from the sharing options, and send it into S Memo, which is Samsung's custom uh, memo taking application. Now, this will work with obviously images that come in, and then you can annotate those images. Um, you can obviously choose different font sizes and that kind of thing. You can put text in uh, in the on screen keyboard, or we can move into the handwriting recognition. So, uh, this is. Vincent, um, as you can see, it's picked up my pretty bad handwriting there. Wait, okay. I'll get something else. Obviously, Samsung has customized, customized the messaging app so that it supports text entry with the regular keyboard, but you can also add, I would have to add the recipient, but you can add um, uh, images in which are sent as MMS messages. Uh, there's also an updated email app um, which has a, a regular scrolling view there but if you turn it sideways in landscape orientation you get a split pane view uh, so we can preview the, the email header in one side and you can see there the, the kind of the quality of this um, 1080 by 800 display and then we can move this pane in and out so we can adjust the, the size so you can read more of the, the headers or bring it right over and just read the messages. Hey, let's bring up Android Commuter slash gear and see how, how great the, the website looks on, on the 5.3 inch display. So if we go into the browser, we can find it. Slash gear. Site, so yeah. if we just turn to standard browser view. And so you can see there's the entire Slash Gear homepage. Full width. You might be able to read there. You can actually quite clearly read the text on it on these um, uh, on the stories without uh, needing to actually zoom in. Uh, if you flip over into landscape orientation, you can see even more the text is huge. You know, you really don't need to, to zoom in, but you can. What was the PPI? Two, uh, 285, 285 PPI on this, so it's pretty huge, certainly for a 5.3-inch display. Um, another custom app that Samsung has created is the 
S Planner, which is the kind of calendar notebook thing and a combination to-do list. And you can pinch, zoom to switch between the different views of uh, week, month, year, down to individual days. Or you can pull in this kind of file of fact style tabs at the side, go into say the task list there. Um, it's got all of Samsung's usual hubs in it, so you can uh, have the, the reader hub and the social hub, which has been redesigned again to suit the, the screen. Um, it depends obviously what you've got signed in, but things like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. And it'll obviously run all your regular Android applications.